Welcome to Google Drive. I want to give you a visual on Google Drive to help you understand its potential and its, um, its concept and just kind of how it works. So here's Andy. Andy's a friend of mine that's going to help us see what Google Drive is all about. Andy has a Google Drive account, which means he has a cloud. Wherever Andy goes, the cloud goes with him. Doesn't matter where Andy goes, throughout the school, the town, the state, the country, or the world, his cloud is always with him. So Andy sits down at a computer and he wants to do some creating. He wants to use his Google Drive account or his cloud. So what is he going to be able to do? Well, he can create a spreadsheet and save it into his cloud. He can create a PowerPoint and save it into his cloud. He can create a document. He can use email. He can use a program called Google Keep, which is for organization. He can use YouTube and save that to his cloud. He can save all these things to his Google Drive cloud, among many other things like Blogger, Google Plus, Google Hangout, Google Play. So now Andy's at school and he sits down at a computer and he's going to create a document. He creates a document at school as a project and he saves into his cloud. School's over and Andy decides to go to the park. His document goes with him because it is in his cloud. So Andy gets to the park and he takes out his iPhone and he uses the Google Drive app to open his document and continue working on it. Andy gets sick of being at the park, so he decides to go home. Once he gets home, he sits down on, at his laptop and he continues working on his Google document. So it doesn't matter wherever Andy is at. He could be at school, the park, his house, it doesn't matter. He can get onto a device with internet and access his document. So Andy's at school or at home, and he's on his laptop, and he's really excited because he's almost done with his with this really tough paper that he's been working on. Unfortunately, his laptop blows up. But for Andy, he's in luck because the explosion, as you can see, does not touch the document, which means Andy is not tied to a computer. He's not tied to a laptop. He's not tied to a USB drive. He's not tied to emailing it back and forth. Andy is not tied to anything. It's too bad that his laptop exploded, but his document is safe because it is in his Google Drive account. The only way Andy can lose his Google documents is if he deletes them himself or if Google itself is destroyed. And if Google is destroyed, we have much bigger things to worry about because something catastrophic has just happened. So here's Andy's teacher. Andy's teacher gives Andy an assignment to create a PowerPoint for a class. So Andy creates his PowerPoint and saves it into his Google Drive account. This is a different type of a project because this is going to be a partner project. So Andy selects his friend named Stuart. Stuart also has a cloud, so that means they're going to be able to work on this project in the cloud. So Andy has created the PowerPoint and he's going to share it by clicking the blue share button and that's going to send the project to Stuart's cloud as well. Now they both have it in their cloud and they can work on it and work together. So Andy's at his computer working on the project, Stuart is at his computer working on the project and it doesn't matter where they're at, they don't even have to be in the same room, they can work on the project and help each other and collaborate. Whenever Andy makes changes to the document, it automatically appears on Stuart's computer. If Andy goes to sleep, that's okay because Stuart can still work on the project. Andy wakes up and he can see what Stuart has just done and the changes he's made. Now Stuart goes to sleep and Andy can then pick up and start working on his part of the project. You can work on the project, the same project, but at different times, different computers because it's all being saved and worked on in the cloud. Another thing Andy likes about his Google Drive cloud is that no matter what he's creating, he can publish his work, and that's going to change his audience number from one, which is usually just the teacher, to the whole world. Publishing things onto the internet broadens Andy's audience, and that could create um, more of a motivation to working on his projects. Let's focus on the teacher for a little bit. Here is Andy's teacher. His whole life, he's been relying on his USB drive. He wants to get away from that, and he wants to start using his Google Drive cloud. Now, he sits down at his computer, but he doesn't want to have to recreate all of his great things he's already made 
So he's going to try to use the cloud to help prevent having to spend all that time creating stuff he's already done. So he opens up his Microsoft Word document and he's going to use the upload feature of Google Drive and that's going to turn that into a Google document which he can then save into his cloud. He can do that for PowerPoint as well, turn it into a Google Drive PowerPoint and save into his cloud. That's going to release him from the USB dependence and allow him to be free throughout um, his teaching experience. He's not going to be tied to that USB drive any longer. Now, since he has his awesome work in his Google Drive account, he can share it with his students for easy access. He can also publish it to the web to allow even easier access for his students or whoever needs the information. Let's get back to Andy. Andy has created a document. The due date has arrived, so the teacher says, okay, time to submit or turn in your project. So Andy is going to use the share feature once again to get his document into the teacher's Google Drive cloud. Once again, there's the blue share button. He'll click it and that's going to send his project to his teacher's cloud. So now the teacher has access to the project and he can assess it, provide feedback, etc. Now there's a problem with this. What happens if Andy never hits the share button? The teacher is not going to get the project. So now we are back to the teacher tracking down students because they have missing work. We want to try to prevent that and Google Drive can help us. The solution is a program called Doctopus, which is a little bit more of an advanced feature of Google Drive that works with scripts and spreadsheets. So the way Doctopus works is instead of the document starting with the student, the document starts with the teacher. Instead of using the blue share button, the teacher is going to use the Doctopus button and that's going to create a template that gets sent out to each student in the class. Now the teacher holds the key to the assignment because it started with him. That means he can freeze or lock the assignment at any point. Um, this would be helpful with the, on the due date where the teacher can freeze the assignment so the students cannot work on it but they can still see it. He can also unlock it at any time because again he has the key to the assignment. One other thing that the teacher really likes about using Doctopus is that throughout the duration of the assignment the teacher can um, check on progress by seeing the document as they work on it. So he can check to see if students have been working on it, the progress that they've been making, make, making sure they're on the right track, etc. Here's Andy once again with his Google Drive. Here's the teacher. The reason why the teacher loves Google Drive so much is that it is an excuse eliminator. Andy's got a lot of excuses. I lost it. No, Andy, you didn't lose it. It's impossible to lose it because it's in your Drive account. It's in your cloud. I left it at home. No, Andy, you didn't because it's in your cloud. It's not possible to leave it at home. I lost my flash drive. I was gone that day. I don't know what that is. I already turned it in and someone deleted it off the apps drive. All of these excuses are no longer valid excuses because Andy has his Google Drive cloud, so he always has his projects with him. Andy also loves Google Drive because it really helps him with organization. Everything's in the same spot and he can access it whenever he has a chance to. No more losing pieces of paper or losing the binder, things like that. If you go to this website, you will find many tutorials on basic Google Drive and more advanced Google Drive like Doctopus, Gubrick, and Fubaru. Um, danclumper.blogspot.com Click on the Google Drive tab and that will provide you with short, hopefully helpful tutorials on getting started with Google Drive.